Hey guys. Good evening, everyone, and, and welcome. And thank you for making the time tonight to, uh, to come to church. This, this fulfills your obligation for the coming Sunday, for those of you who need to know that. Um, but thank you. Thank you for coming out. Um, it's great to see the congregation as large as it is tonight under this single tent. Um, and for those of you who may be a bit apprehensive because you remember that movie, Kingsman, <laughs> this, it, just, it doesn't end that way. It doesn't end that way. So, but no, again, thank you. Um, and as you can see from this evening, um, here again at PlayStation, we've decided to mix it up a little bit in the way that we're doing our E3 presentation this year. You know, we look at what the stories have we tell to tell and, and, and the things that we want to impart to our fans here with us and their fans uh, on the live feed worldwide. And that changes our design, design ideas around what we can do for this show. So tonight, we're going to have, rather than a bombardment of new creative, we're going to take all of you uh, on a journey deeper into some of the key titles we've talked about before, but we're going to talk about them in a different way tonight, a, a deeper way, so you can learn about what's going on with these games and what's coming up in the future. You know, what we look at here um, at Worldwide Studios with Inside Sony Interactive Entertainment, we really want to take our love for gaming and make it sing, and make it sing very loudly. Um, it's a gaming industry it's sometimes called, but certainly inside our studios, we see gaming as a vocation. It's a calling. It's what we do. It's what we have to do. Our teams of creatives and studios and designers, they have stories to tell and things they want to show you and places they'd like to take you. That's what we're trying to do here at PlayStation. Uh, this coming year is going to be all about those kind of games that we can deliver to you in a way that's going to blow your minds. And tonight, we're beginning here in this tent, we've, uh, this church tent we've created here uh, in Los Angeles to let you start that journey with us and let us tell you uh, our stories for the next hour or so. So without further ado, it is my great honor and my unique privilege to invite to the stage and introduce to you Gustavo Santorea.
city and I shut her down Went back home, jumped into bed Forty-four pistol under my head I woke up in the middle of a hapless time Hex in the back, he's standing on the right Jets and gamers standing around Taking little city to be on the right about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, but not quite the show. I give you guys two weeks until we back together. Not gonna happen. Did she, uh, say something to you? Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Oh, I'm here, aren't I? Dina? Jesse. Hey, don't forget we leave at first light, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> how about that? Gross. <laughs> you love it. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Holy shit! No, no, no! 
Spread out. Came through here. Double back. Go.
That was a new look at The Last of Us Part 2. We're here live in Los Angeles at the PlayStation E3 Showcase. We're taking a quick intermission while folks move uh, along to the next part of the experience. We'll have a little bit more to share on that later. And I am joined by my good friend, Ryan Clements. Hello, Mr. Schumann. It's How are a, you? It, I'm good. It's such a pleasure to be here at the PlayStation Showcase. Uh, and it's going to be a huge night for Worldwide Studios a little later when the showcase resumes. Uh, and what better guest to have for joining us about Worldwide Studios? Studios than the chairman of Worldwide Studios, Mr. Sean Layden. <laughs> Hello, guys. sir. Yeah, good. good to be here. I thought you were just on stage. How did you get up here so fast? We created this pneumatic tube that I was dropped into you and shot right, right across to the studio here. Right yes. over here. Well, it's yes. good to have you here. Well, it's so. great to be here. And I think I was a very, uh, uh, a very powerful start for our E3 program for this year. That's right, and there's much more to come, but I do want to zero in on The Last of Us Part Two yeah. here just for a moment. You know, as chairman of Worldwide Studios, you work very closely with Naughty Dog. These guys need no introduction. Indeed. And I'm curious, uh, from your perspective, where is their head at when it comes to developing this game? Where's their, where's their head at? I mean, they are, they are everywhere. They're looking at um, what can do in the next iteration of The Last of Us series. And I think what we saw tonight, I mean, that, that piece of, 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 of content was, was so impactful. I mean, the whole relationship between Ellie and Dina going into the combat sequence really shows that um, they're pulling out all the stops over at Naughty Dog, and they're going to have a very broad and ranging game that's not going to make you only, only work at it as a player, but you're going to have to just think as a person what, 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 what you're coming up against. I can't wait to see more of that, and that was first gameplay we saw there of The yeah. Last of Us Part Two, looking obviously incredible. And speaking of incredible, I mean, Worldwide Studios lately, I mean, it's just been unbelievable. Horizon, you had God of War, which needs no introduction, and Detroit, Become Human. I mean, what is the secret, and what are you doing over there at Worldwide Studios? What's going on there? <laughs> The rule number one is do no harm, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. In a lot of ways, my job is just to move the boulders out of the road to make sure that creative talent can get where they need to go, you know, provide backup, provide scope, you know, provide generalized, you know, advice about where we can take this as, a, as, as an industry and, 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 as, and as, a, as, as a gaming culture. But um, honestly, we've got 13 studios worldwide. Uh, we try to give them as much creative control as possible and just help support them through to their vision. That's kind of what we've been trying to do here for the last uh, dozen years or so with Worldwide Studios. And I think right now, certainly in the PS4 era, you're seeing a lot of that coming into, uh, coming into play right now. That's great to hear that. And, uh, you know, I mean, speaking about making fans happy, I mean, there's, I think there's a question that I've been getting a whole lot, and it has to do with God of War. You know, right. it's a celebrated game. It's sold extremely well. It has a, a huge legion of fans. And one of the things I wanted to mention was, you know, I get a lot of tweets mm -hmm. about New Game Plus. Right. You know, is this, right. is this something that you and Santa Monica Studio are, are evaluating for God of War? You know, it's crazy. Uh, with the advent of social media, we've got, we get a lot of real-time feedback right. from the fans and the community, and we listen to that. And God knows my Twitter feed is, is filled up with a lot of stuff that <laughs> we could talk about here or not talk about at all, but it's all important. We take it all, all seriously, and New Game Plus is something that came through really strong and really hard through that kind of feedback loop, and I'm happy to say today that the teams are working on it, and we should have some more updates on that. We'll put that through the blog, but it's going to happen. All right. Yes. Definitely. As someone, as someone who miraculously finished God of War with a two-year-old at home, that makes me very happy. I will somehow find more scary. time. But, okay. I will find time to keep. He wasn't watching. <laughs> okay, thank I wanna, God. <laughs> I want to confirm yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Kids don't try this at home. Asleep. Uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much, Sean. And it's great to hear that you and, and the amazing team at Santa Monica Studio are making that happen. Hey, if we so. can create uh, functionality and features that allow people to spend more time in the worlds we build, that's by definition a good thing. Excellent. Fantastic. So New Game Plus, that is confirmed. That is coming to God of yep. War. We'll have full details on PlayStation Blog shortly. We have a lot more to talk about, too. Yeah, and actually, Sean, I wanted to ask you about that. About a month ago, mm -hmm. uh, you did something a little bit out of the ordinary for our team, and you kind of came out and talked about the four main games mm -hmm. that we would be highlighting uh, tonight's PlayStation Showcase. I was wondering what the thought process was there. Well, you know, every year, we try to let the, the stories we have to tell design the experience we're going to create. And this year, we felt that um, what we really wanted to do is take people on a journey deep into the content. content deep into the four big pillar games that we're working on right now um, and get them to see a bit more about um, the stories you're trying to tell and, and the way it's going to be expressed and what they get out of it. It's a really wide range of, um, of uh, titles there, anything from uh, The Last of Us 2, which you saw right now, through Death Stranding and, and, and Spider-Man and Ghost. So, um, 
this year I wanted people to know that don't come here expecting to have some big flashy new idea come out or, or some big surprise come out. Come here and sit with us and walk with us as we get through to see the, uh, the background stories and deep inside of the games we're working on. Wonderful. And we do have a lot more coming from those Worldwide Studios games in the showcase mm -hmm. later tonight. Do you have uh, any personal games that you're most excited about? Well, they're all fabulous, and I think the teams are really crushing it right across the board. But, Fair enough. But one thing I would say is uh, there's one of the games that we're having out today that will be playable in three months and available in stores, and, that and that's it. our favorite web slinger. Of course. Spider-Man. So course. we're going to see a lot of that tonight, and I think uh, the folks at home should be happy with what they're going to get. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. Sean, thank you so much for dropping by. Always a pleasure to trade notes with the chairman of Worldwide Studios. It's great to see you guys. I'll head back to the pneumatic tube station, though. All yes, right, please, please. do. All right. And and Wear we, the helmet. <laughs> we do have a lot more in store coming up in just a few minutes as the E3 showcase continues. But in the meantime, we also have some other updates for you while we wait during this short intermission. So I say we kick it off with a look at the latest from the world of Call of Duty. Black Maps and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 only when you pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 4 from PlayStation Store. Welcome back. We are having the PlayStation E3 showcase kicking off in just a few more minutes. We're in a short intermission period here, but we've got some good stuff to talk about. And we've got some good friends as well. Yeah. Meredith Molinari and Ramon Russell. Welcome. Hi. What's happening? That's good right. to have you guys back. It's yeah, good to be good back. To be Friendly yeah. faces right before the showcase. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, excellent. So I say we keep this moving here. And uh, when it comes to Call of Duty, we know that a bunch of remastered maps from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 are making their way to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this October on launch day. But what we just learned here is that those maps, those classic maps, are, are coming to Black Ops 3 as well for those who pre-order Black Ops 4 on PlayStation Store. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Um, but what if I don't own <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Well, that's where it gets a little more interesting, my friend. Oh. So tonight, we are actually doing a surprise PlayStation Plus game drop, and that is going to be Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 Ooh. is coming to PlayStation Plus later tonight. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's very nice. This is why I love E3, because not only do we get to share awesome news with our, our audience, but PlayStation Plus subscribers get a little treat. Get a little extra a little little tasty treat. treat. Right. Little, yeah. little mid E3 supply drop for yeah, there. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <That was> perfect. <laughs> you know, we've been sharing a lot of good news. We got to share five really cool announcements last week when we did our countdown, kind of ramping up for tonight's big showcase. Mm -hmm. That's right. We had the countdown to E3, and that was five game reveals and updates over a span of five days. A lot of great stuff announced. Let's take a quick look back at the highlights.
Welcome back. We're just a few minutes away from the E3 PlayStation Showcase. I mean, I, when I say a few minutes, I mean we're really <laughs> <laughs> So let's keep moving here. There was a lot of great stuff here. Oh, and we can see the crowd is seated. Uh, the people are about ready to go. This show's about to continue, about to, to move into the big event. Yeah, it was great to see the countdown stuff, but I do think that there's like maybe one more thing we can sneak in there before we cut away to the showcase. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's squeeze it in. Let's squeeze, let's it, let's in. squeeze it in. Let's squeeze it in. Okay, so this next franchise boasts a huge loyal community of nearly 6 billion hours. Incredible stat. Yeah, they play that so much. A lot. They do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to take a, a first look at the next chapter right now. That was a powerful new look at Destiny 2. Oof. Forsaken is coming out September 4th on PS4. A lot of great enhancements and content for that one. And uh, yeah, it looks it looks really good. There's a lot of buzz about that Dambit mode coming up. And guess what? If you're at E3, you can play it at our booth. Not too bad. <laughs> but Not I, too bad. there's barely any time because we're about to get to the showcase. That's right. We are really seconds away when it comes down to it from the rest of a PlayStation's E3 showcase. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a lot more in store tonight. Um, but for now, I think it's almost time. Let's I think go. it's almost time. Should yeah, we get you, to it? I think why keep people waiting? Let's get to it. We have so much okay. more to cover. Okay. Let's do it. Got a lot more in store. Yeah. So let's check it out live right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
temples close. Nobu, come! Late. You're impatient. Where's the monk? The bastards beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. You think the monk's a hero? We need him, Masako. Sago Bridge, we strike quietly, and they kill the monk. I'll guard the exits. Just get that monk. Amaran Lahus is back. We will pull yours. They are making big now. Okay, don't. Now you can be quick and much. We can back or land. To near rock doth sushi mug. I had a stuff half lopan. Please, I do not understand. Ulvath we. Chamagot unha me. Ulf me che yavin sakt. 
til Obelotten. Det er min vej. Reinforcements. We have to move. Masako! Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! We fight. The Mongols win. They already won. The oldest house is a shifting place. There are rules and rituals. You can keep traveling deeper.
Money's in my account. Always a pleasure. Attention, all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. Whatever it takes to save this city. Surprised you made it this far. Need info on my extraction. Survival's your responsibility. God damn it. Will you help me? Of course. It's impressive display of strength. <laughs> but we never meant for this to happen. <laughs> It's coming back! From Squanch Games, and the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Bathtub Guy, and we're here at E3 to take some looks at this new game I'm about to show you right now. Trover Saves the Universe. Let's give it a look. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's some action platform stuff in this little piece of shit. I'm the bathtub guy, I'm always in my bathtub, but you know, that's not about me right now. It's about this game. Whoa, look at that. That's exciting footage I just saw. Oh, I'm playing it right now. Look at me. I'm a cool cucumber over here playing this cool game. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Somebody call 711 because that's the emergency dial number for this in this re weird part of the galaxy. Because this is a sci-fi based thing. Help! He's got electrocuted! Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Because we get to be pirates again. Yep, you always did like this world. Still, it's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship.
you back in the organization? Yes. Surprising, isn't it? Jack, don't you give this creep the time of day. Sora, stand down. It's the code. Mustn't strike a pirate aboard ship when said pirate offers to confabulate. I am looking for a box. Get them! Sora! Oh. They have come for us. Wait! Oh, no! Stop! Farewell! Arendelle is safer with me staying up here. Oh, please, go away! And the unversed collected enough screams and sadness from those children. Yeah, and the whole time they were trashing our company in the process! You're following her. Maybe she's one of the seven pure lights we need. The new seven hearts. Now, set your heart free. And at the end, you'll finally realize what destiny has in store for you. In fact, your reward might be right around the corner. Hey, Axel. Huh? Hey, liking the look. <laughs> Cut your hair, too. your level I've got the extension factor but I think you got me beat you can see them right no but I can sense them want to come work for me must be tough out here on your own and I can't help you with that I make deliveries that's all
it into ten. But yourself, those things never stay gone for long. The time full fast forwards whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. Sam, what's your status? Aurelium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a boy down. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. Keeps the time fall away. You're too, too late. late. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you?
is secure, but I can't reach them over radio. Their comms must be down. What's your status? Already here. Yuri? I thought you said it was secure. It was. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the park! Just in time for the fireworks! <laughs> Looks like we made parole, boys! Come out! Electro? Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cells and lock the door behind you. Okay? Please? eight years. No biggie. Electro must be working for someone. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was busy. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man, I thought this was a chase! Gotta stop this guy. If you tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you! Can't stop it! But I'm flattered that you still try! Nobody ever takes me up on that offer! Stop! 
How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. Want to. We definitely want to. That was the PlayStation Ooh. E3 showcase. A lot to take in. There was a ton of great Worldwide Studios titles. We actually got a little more to share here coming right up. We're going to have first live gameplay of Marvel Spider-Man right here. Just a couple of minutes. We have a new game to announce. We have some other stuff to talk about, too. What a show. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. my gosh. Pop highlights. Go. Oh. <laughs> Ghost of There's no time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima looked absolutely incredible. Those that color palette was in yeah. insane. Yeah. Did you grow up with samurai movies? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. It's just the embodiment. I'm ready. Suck the punch. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith. Oh, Resident Evil 2. Come on. Yeah. RE2. That looked so good. I know a lot of us fans have been waiting for that one. Um, and there was like a moment where you're like, I'm not really sure I know what this is. And then as soon as he turned his head, I was like, yes. And you get that, oh, that, that, so that good. RE4 style over the shoulder camera yes. action. That's kind of like the, the ultimate dream if they were going to remake Resident Evil 2. Dude, that's what I would want. So uh, awesome stuff, yeah. Ryan. Nice and gory. Yeah. As, <laughs> nice and gory. as Meredith said backstage, Death Stranding. <laughs> I now we now have more questions. Yes, <laughs> yes, more questions. Wait, wait. More questions. It, it looks as if I mean I don't want to make any promises, but it looks as if we were getting kind of an allusion to a lot of gameplay in yeah. there and kind of what the character of Sam is going to be doing in this very unusual world that is inhabited by some very unusual and scary things. And people consume strange and unusual strange yeah, and yeah, bugs. Um, yeah, yeah, that ba was... Babies continue to be a theme. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a myth. No. Don't, know, don't know what we're going to find out there, but yeah. So a ton of great stuff in the show overall. I mean, Neo 2, that was a crowd pleaser. That was one that was great to see get out there. We got an update on Kingdom Hearts 3. We got a lot of other great stuff. We had a new Remedy game. Oh, Remedy yeah, is on the way. Control. Really stylish trailer, really looking to just, I want to learn more about that one. I mean, it just looks like wizards and like, I don't know what I was looking <laughs> at, but it was, it was really stylish. I would expect no less from Remedy. But I got to say, I think my favorite was Marvel Spider-Man. Spider-Man yeah. looked yeah. in, that looked That incredible. was incredible. Yeah. We had these legendary villains are back. We had Rhino, Electro, Vulture. I'm missing some. Who else were there? I uh, mean, just one after Shocker, another. Uh, that was, uh, Electro, so no, Spider-Man was not yeah. a good space. No, it was, it was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. So uh, we're going to see live gameplay of that in just a minute or two here. But I say we actually 
take this moment to announce a new game. What do you think? Do it. Okay, do it. So nonchalant. Do <laughs> Hits keep coming. Yeah. So, so you guys know From Software. Absolutely. Yes. I'm uh, aware of them. They have created a lot of great games over the year. Well, they have been busy working on a PlayStation VR game. Oh, VR. And it is quite a departure from the kinds of games that we sort of know them for, but it's very, very interesting. And I'd like to see the first footage of that right now. Aren't you excited? You're going to be a fairy. And live in the world where time stands still. Where nobody can see what you're up to ever again. Okay, Decine, that's uh, From Software's new title Ooh. coming to PlayStation VR. Quite a departure, very artistic. Still don't know a ton about how it actually plays yet, but certainly a compelling debut, I would say. And speaking of compelling, let's get to that <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> it is time. We have some folks from Insomniac We sure here. Right. do. Brian, Adam, gentlemen, hey, welcome how to you the program. Doing? It's so great to have you here. I just have to say, first of all, thank you guys for giving us your time. Of course, yeah, of course. Evening. Happy to be here. Um, and also, congratulations, kind of closing out some of the show there with uh, Marvel Spider-Man. How does it feel? It's uh, surreal. We've been working on it for a while, so yeah. uh, it's nice to uh, be here. And obviously, we showed you people wanted villains, so we decided we'll give you a lot of villains. And, now, uh, <laughs> and the next question is, our next question is, uh, can we play the open world? And Adam's going to show off the That's right. uh, New York City. I mean, I don't know, Sid. What do you think? Should let's let's dive in. Yeah. Let's what are we talking right. about here? Yeah. 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 Get in there. So we're we're going to boot up the demo here. And this is essentially one of the first playable demos that you guys are going to be showing off. Yeah, of, uh, that's right. Of Pretty much. So, I mean, if you think about so ahead, they, yes, right. the, the game is, you know, a lot of people are like, last year's E3 was like, well, was that was that like just a linear level? No, like that's our that was our Manhattan. That's our New York City. Well, and it just happens to be on like, a very main story mission. But in between like, the two things like you saw on the raft or we showed that back at last E3, you can just swing around yeah, New York City right and have here. fun. Let's, let's, go, let's go to that footage because we uh, have it running here on the, uh, the main monitor. We'll go to it in just a second. This is the beauty of the live environment. Yeah, this, oh God. Oh, this, so this is great. I got my own little TV. This is perfect. Yeah, I got it all. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> Adam's doing a fantastic job so far. It's been really good. So away. first of all, you're actually playing this right now. Yeah. That's right. And I, I do want to emphasize how yeah, beautiful we, <laughs> this game is. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, well, well, yeah, Brian, tell me a little bit about what you guys want to show us uh, uh, this evening. So I think, I mean, the big thing is, again, you know, I think the part of the spider the Spider-Man fantasy is to swing around New York City and, you know, to have, you know, not only just a great story, but have a bunch of different activities in that world. And we want to, you know, give people who attend E3 an opportunity to experience that. So, you know, obviously we, it's a big narrative driven experience, but at the same time, part of that superhero 